What is up guys and girls, Hurricane Liz here. And in this video, we're gonna talk about not only what I'm selling on Amazon as of late, I know a lot of beginners out there are like, Liz, I have no idea what the heck to sell. Are things even selling right now that we're all stuck in our house? Well, I'm here to tell you that yes, they are. Not only are a record amount of babies being made at this very moment, but people everywhere are shopping like it's the end of the world. And there's no surprise that Amazon is leading the way and actually facilitating these sales. And despite the fact that all sorts of their workers are getting sick. They are finally, or they seem to finally be getting things under control. So in today's videos, you're gonna be shocked and stunned at the crap that people are buying, but we're gonna use this crap to actually turn it to our advantage and figure out what we're gonna sell in the coming 18 months, because guess what? These actual niches, they're gonna to continue to trend. And on top of that, I'm gonna show you, if you're stuck at home right now and you don't have anything to do, I'm gonna show you what the hottest niche is to get started on right away. You don't have to buy anything from China. You don't have to send it in. You don't have to worry about any of that crap. You can make it right now at your house. I'm gonna show you all that and a heck of a lot more. So I'm excited, you should be too. Let's jump straight in. All right, so we're at my desktop and let's start looking at what kind of stuff sold and in a little bit, I'll show you what the totals were for each of these actual stores. Now keep in mind, these are just drop shipping stores and they're a couple of the stores that I actually have. However, this does not include my private label products, which are my primary income source and they are crushing it more than ever right now. Part of that is because of the fact that it's a niche that relates to families. So for the most part, those are crushing it and I am trying to get stock in from China. So you'll learn more about if that makes it in or not on the coronavirus video update of the week. However, for now, let's take a look at what's selling, what's hot. And I want you guys to understand that I'm not going to let you see this eyesore here. And I will, you could see it right here. You could see I'm selling this stuff. I can't even make some of this crap up. A lot of it is going to be consumables like groceries. You can see here coffee and maple syrup and pickles and picane sauce, right? I guess some people are having some kind of fiesta and other people, well, I don't know what they're doing, but Let's keep in mind that despite what's selling, one thing that we want to pay close attention to, and that's why I pulled out specific products so you guys can see what's selling, is we want to pay close attention to how can we use this to our advantage and how can we jump into a niche that's still going to be healthy now for about 6 to 18 months, particularly if we're brand new, right? So a lot of people out there are like, oh my God, oh my God, what do I sell? What do I sell? I don't, I can't make any money right now. I have no idea what's selling on Amazon. I don't know how to get on Amazon. Well, I'm gonna show you guys what not only you can sell, but I'm gonna show you at the end of this video, particularly for those of you guys and girls that pay attention, what you can sell right now from the comfort of your own home. In fact, I'm doing it and I'm actually doing a case study about it, but we'll wait to jump into that fun here in a minute. First, let's talk about what's selling right now and what's selling red hot. So in this actual store, I will show you guys how much it's making at the end, as well as this one. You can see that the other one was at 17% profit. This one's at 13.84. But what I went ahead and did through here is, like I said, this is all an eyesore. I wouldn't want to look at it either. And a lot of it is just food and stuff like that. Food and toilet paper, food and shit, right? And there are very specific products that stood out to me. So I pulled each of them out one by one just to show you guys so you kind of have an idea. The first is from, surprise, surprise, the pet niche, right? Because we all got them. They're all here hunkered down with us in our bunkers and we love them. We're going to take good care of them. Right here, this is an actual cat product. However, it doesn't stop with cats. I saw products for birds. I saw products for dogs. I saw a product for just about every imaginable animal you could think of. No tigers though. So we're going to have to leave that to Carol Baskin and Tiger King, but take a look at what else here. Some kind of adhesive for jewelry. So that tells me that the crafting niche is red hot and why not? Hey, there's lots of moms sitting around, lots of moms with kids. They need to occupy them with things. That way they don't get the shit annoyed out of them. So they got their kids making crafts. Not only do they have their kids making crafts, but they're probably making crafts as well just to pass time. Cause again, a lot of people are bored out of their freaking minds. Then we've got for the fancier individual and those that are, aren't worried about things like that, there might be single and they might need a place to sit because guess what? They're not able to stand at those bars at half happy hour. They got to sit at home and participate in balcony parties. 
Balcony parties? Yes, we have them in Miami every night at 8 o'clock. At sundown, you can expect a fiesta happening out on my balcony along with all my neighbors who I've never met before. So that brings me to, again, the crafts. We've got pens and pencils and all sorts of crap is selling. And then again, the toy niche. Why? Because moms need to calm down their kids, which half the time are annoying them. So they've got to keep them occupied. And hey, toys, why not, right? Here's one other thing that I wanted to point out about the toy niche is guess what? These things sell year round. I know that niche extremely well, especially during Christmas. So not only is right now a strong time for toys, but it's going to happen during Christmas time too. So it's always a good niche to jump into. And then we've got, again, going back to crafting, playing games and toys, spending time with the family, this table here where it can sit people down and they can do things together, right? So we can do things like we ha used to have to do them in the old days, play Monopoly and play stupid shit like that, that occupies hours and hours of fun. And here we go again with the console table. So people still buying actual furniture. The other thing that I saw a lot was patio furniture and chairs to lay out on your balcony. I see it all the time. There's people laying out in my balcony as we speak. And then an adult party game. <laughs> Seriously, if you've got an imagination right now, you could put this together and you could put together my super secret here at the end of this. But let's face it, what's going to happen after adult games? We need to jump straight into the baby niche because more babies are probably, probably being made during coronavirus than ever before. So boomers move out of the way. you got a new competitor. It's the Corona baby. And here we go again with the craft table and the list goes on and on. Here we go with pet litter, which I already talked about sporting and fitness. I've talked about this and rambled about this in several videos. And yes, people are trying to keep fit in their actual apartment. In fact, dumbbells, dumbbells are out until about mid May or something. And so are a lot of other sporting equipment products. So again, that is a super hot niche right now, as well as the food storage and beverage storage niche. People everywhere are hoarding, I mean hoarding things and hoarding too. That's why we have a record breaking number of babies coming soon. Mark my word for, with that. And then organization for homes, right? Because we find ourselves having all this clutter, all this stuff to deal with and all these screaming crazy kids that we can't keep calm. So we've got to think about a lot of that and we got to allow a lot of that negative energy to come out. That's why yoga is hot, fitness is hot. I don't think I need to keep repeating this. I sound like a broken record. And here we go again with the pet niche. It doesn't stop. And then one last niche that I wanted to kind of harp upon, and that is the almost anti-anxiety niche. And this is particularly important because right now people are feeling anxiety. A lot of people are actually confusing anxiety with coronavirus. I read an article about this yesterday where they had to tell people what the differences are. And so they got to let things go in, have a Calgon moment. Those of you that are old enough will remember what that is. If you didn't, just look it up. But Basically, that's laying in a bathtub, locking the door, locking out the kids, locking out the significant other, locking out the cats, the dogs, everybody, and just letting it be, right? And this is exactly what they use Epsom salt for. Now, I'm not saying you can go out there and private label this, but chances are you can. You might know a lot about salt that I don't. I only know how to eat it. However, I do know that it's used to help soothe and release tension in the muscles. So let's take a look at this last one and then we'll talk about how we can use this information to move forward and create a product for ourselves and how we can actually create one from the comfort of our own home with very little money. The last one is a ping pong table because again, like I said, they gotta entertain those kids and what better to entertain them with than a ping pong table which might occupy them for about an hour. But hey, an hour is good enough to have a Calgon moment. So, all right, so we've got five basic niches here that we want to think about jumping into. Fitness, pets, anti-anxiety, toys, and the last one is crafts. That way we can make things and not have to worry about buying Christmas presents at the end of the year because, hey, everybody's, everybody's going to get some black coal in their bags, right? So how do we use this information to actually find products for ourselves to sell. Well, the very best way is to pick a niche, number one. So in this example, I decided to go with the crafting niche because I see a lot of opportunity in the crafting niche. People are gonna start staying at home because of all of this scariness with the pandemic and coronavirus and what could come later. And we still don't know what the effects are gonna be long-term. We still don't know if people can get this thing twice. We don't know anything. So we're gonna be staying at home for quite some time. So people are gonna have a lot of time on their hands to craft and make things. And you know, they can sell it. They can do a lot of things with it. So what I basically did is I went to Google and I search for Amazon bestsellers and I'm going to hop into the arts and crafts niche and I'm going to just start poking around and looking to see 
what's happening. And if I can see anything that stands out, like right now this thread is standing out and it's obviously selling a lot because people are making masks with it, especially with crafts, they're making masks. What I wanna really look at is I don't wanna look at the best sellers. What I wanna look at is the hot new releases or the movers and shakers. And the reason that I wanna look at those two things in particular is because they're gonna show me what's hot right now. So I'm in arts and crafts and sewing for best sellers. I'm gonna jump into, right? So I jumped into the movers and shakers in arts and crafts and sewing. And I wanna take a look at what's happening besides sewing besides these mask kits besides any of that I noticed sketchbook which is no surprise I see these paints which we kind of saw selling from Walmart right but then this is the first thing that really stands out to me right here this colorful cow painting right and I'll tell you in a little bit why it st stands out to me as well as this one here so we've got two of these paintings now three here that stand out I've seen them in the past. However, I haven't seen as many of them in the top 50. So that's three in the top 50. And what they basically are, are paint by numbers. So the th reason this stuck out to me is I already mentioned the anti-anxiety niche. I feel like this product could cover two niches. We're talking about anti-anxiety and we're talking about crafts. Not only does painting scientifically show people calm down while they're doing this, it, sh it sells, right? It's, it's entertaining, it keeps people's time. And so what it started to get me to think about is what it is, which is paint by numbers. So when I investigated paint by numbers, I started to jump deeper into this rabbit hole and I got paint by numbers and I started to notice that these guys, most of these guys are selling insanely well. So I thought about this and I said, how can I capitalize upon this and show you guys how you can do this from the comfort of your own home without you having to leave, without you having to source anything from China and with you just being able to learn some art or artistic part, graphic artistry was we'll call it since I can't think of another name for it. I am a graphic arts dummy, but I've actually, in fact, myself tried to do this and it works. If, if I was to devote four to eight hours to doing this, I would master it even though I'm a complete idiot when it comes to graphic arts. So what is it? Well, we can't create paint by art paintings, but we can create paint by numbers books specifically for adults because right now what I'm seeing is that there's a bigger trend kids usually always need this shit they want this shit they cry about this mommy please mommy please I want this book right but in record numbers I'm imagining that adults need this right now because of their anxiety and because of the fact of everything that's going on and they don't really like to say much right they hold it in like think about what you do for your kids think about the stress that you might feel right now because of coronavirus because I'm pretty comfortable and you're going to see that like the stores that I have that are selling and making money they're comfortable you're going to say like Liz you need the STFU because you're crying for no reason but I am concerned for the world and I am concerned for others and that's why I'm showing you guys and girls this so let's go in and see what's available with paint by sticker are leading the charts but I specifically want paint by number books for adults. So here's one color by number book for with a German Shepherd. Here's some more of these paint by number stickers. But here's here they start coming out. Lovable dogs coloring book 622. And I'm not talking about the coloring book. I'm talking about paint by numbers. So it might take me some more time to actually figure out what the main keyword is here. But I can tell you this much: the actual art prints are selling in record numbers. And I don't doubt when I find the right keyword for this particular niche, they're going to be selling in records numbers too. So that's what I would do. That's what I would start to investigate. And I will go ahead and start by doing that. And to go ahead and start doing that, go ahead and download this extension called, I always forget the name of it, Suggestion Expander, to kind of tell me what actual things come up before the word and what kind of things come up after the word. So if I put paint by number, you're gonna see all the different things that you can explore and see where are the people really selling and where are they selling red hot and that's kind of what I found as I dug through this rabbit hole and figured out how can I sell things right now with how to having the source from China and worry about if the inventory can even make it in to Amazon how can I source and how can I make things from my own house that's the way I started Amazon and that's the way I continue to do it think outside the box and the answer will come so let's now talk about the grand total on these stores and for that I'm gonna first show you a screenshot now keep in mind with this screenshot again this is not my primary source of income this is just a drop ship store one of the several that I have and this is what it made the last seven days this is the grand total right here don't pay attention to ROI and margin because I don't have the prices in there margin and ROI as you saw on this one was about 17 percent now last week it only did a little less and that's primarily because the reason that I told you guys in the coronavirus video I had to shut this baby off for about a, a day or two in that week because of the fact that it was just pumping too much and 
last year, this is all it did. This was not an actual drop shipping store last year. This is just a private label store where I had a lot of my used stuff going on and selling in there. And let's go ahead and look at store number two. And for that, I'm gonna just log in and I will show you guys what the total is here in a minute. And here it is again, like I said, this is only week to date, so it's still missing two days. And keep in mind this store, I also had to shut it off last week, but this week it's turning out. There was about one day it got shut down this week, but same thing, people are still shopping in record numbers and Amazon has proven that they can reign supreme during this time. So like I said before, stop wasting your time, stop picking your nose, stop sitting on that couch watching reruns of Games of Thrones or whatever the hell it is you guys watch out there. I sound like, a, like an old person here, watch that Game of Thrones. So that's it for this video. If you all have any questions or comments, post them below and let me know how you like this. Let me know if you liked what is selling on Amazon and if I should continue this every single week. So I look forward to your comments. I look forward to your questions. I'll see you in the next video.